It's time for another tech tip for experts, authors, and entrepreneurs. Hello, my name's Chet Davis, and I'm your technology tutor. Today's tip, I want to show you this cool app and website called Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O. You'll get to it by going to Trello.com. There's also an app available for the iPhone, the iPad, and for the Android platform. Let's go ahead and launch Trello in my web browser so you can see what I'm talking about. Well, I've logged into Trello and I've created my free account. As you can see in the upper right corner, there's a little photo of me and my name. Uh, you can, again, create a free Trello account uh, today by going to Trello.com. Trello essentially is um, an organizer. It's a way to make lists, keep track of tasks, keep on task with a project. And I'm just going to show you a couple of the lists. Uh, here's a sample one. As soon as you launch into Trello the very first time, there's a couple of welcome boards to give you an idea of what's possible. So you can have what they call these entire boards. And each board has its own card. And a card can, uh, can be moved from board to board. In each card, you have the ability to put in text. You can even add pictures. You can add files. You can drop files on there, complete files, URLs or website addresses. So it's a really cool way to kind of keep a project going. Let me show you a couple of my projects that I've got going on myself. So uh, here's my um, author's technology workshop. Uh, for authors and experts, it's a hands-on two-day workshop I'll be delivering uh, around North America the fall this year. So I have um, three different boards, as you can see. There's a to-do list. There's um, a list for me to create modules to keep the modules organized that I want to um, offer both on day one and day two. And here's some tasks that are done. And then uh, you can create additional lists. So here's a supplemental. And the nice thing is you can very easily add a card just like this and um, create handout uh, to distribute with resources and then add that card. So very, very easy as you can see here. Um, you can also change, there's labels, you can make them different colors. Um, you can add a new label and um, so on and so on. So I wanna save that. And you can see that there's different information. Uh, you have the full ability to rearrange cards and move them up and down in a particular list. Uh, you can move the lists around. Let me just show you one other board real quickly here. Um, here's a book project I'm working on. So you can see I have to do, I have doing, and then I have done. So you have different ways to organize. And you can see that I've actually dropped information right here. So that's a, a, a full size file, uh, one of the sample designs for my um, upcoming book on technology security. So you can see Trello is a really cool uh, function. I like it a lot. I'm a very visual person. So I like it when I have the ability to organize things and as I as I finish these is like I'm I'm pretty much done with my introduction um, and you see this you can actually put in um, dates and due dates and deadlines and as you're completed I'm gonna go ahead and move it from the doing over to the done pile and you can see that you have a different way to organize things let me go ahead and fire up my iPhone app my Trello app so you can see because it's synchronized across the cloud there's nothing more you have to do than download the app on your mobile device and sign in using the same account and here's what it looks like you can see we're inside my iPhone and I'm inside of a folder here and there's the Trello app on the right side. I simply tap to open it and I'm already signed in. But you see, there's the same boards that we created a few moments ago. So there's the author's technology workshop. And as I go from the um, uh, portrait into the landscape orientation, you can see uh, the, the whole the, the whole project I've got going on here. And if I wanted to create a new list, you simply tap to add a new list. And then I could name that list. Let's call it um, Extra. Feeling really creative with my titles right now. And then you have the ability to add additional cards. You just tap and you add a new card. So let's just call this New Card. And that's how easy it is to use Trello to organize um, your next book, to organize your next workshop, your retreat, any project you've got going on. I hope you found that quick look at Trello of interest and value to you. If you have suggestions for additional tutorials, I'd love to hear from you. Maybe you have questions about today's or another day's tip. Send me an email message to chet, C-H-E-T, at yourtechnologytutor.com. Thank you.